Hey everybody, it's Chris the Metric here from TDW Woodworks. You know, I'm sitting in my shop here after a couple weeks of working, um, rearranging and moving things around. Uh, I was in the uh, market to get, a self, get myself a new tool. I was going to actually get a drum sander, uh, one of the Jet um, Open End ones. They're 1632 plus drum sander. It's got variable speed, and I can show you a little more details of that later. But the drum sander is just making as much dust as a, a surface planer. It's just no way that I was going to be able to contain all of the the dust and sawdust and everything that that would make. So I ended up going to the Harbor Freight and picking up their uh, dust collection system. Um, I know I may eventually make it into a two stage. I'm not sure if um, I want to do that right away, but I'll I'll look at uh, at a two stage unit later on. But I wanted to get that set up and run all the pipe or all of the uh, duct work and get everything sort of as organized as I could and after a couple weeks I think I've worked out something that's going to work well so the two new things that I have is uh, floor space for the drum sander and I need floor space for my dust clashing system and in order to do that I really had to take a hard look at the tools that I have at my ready at any moment I can grab them and I realized that some of the tools I mean, I love my oscillating spindle sander, but does it need to be right there at all moments so I can use it at any time? Eh, not so much. So I've rearranged, and uh, let me give you a quick tour of what I've done and the changes I've made. The first obvious one would be the dust collection system. Right where my drill press used to be, I've uh, installed this dust collection system where I've got uh, the ductwork coming up over and down to access my new drum sander. Now the drum sander as I mentioned was the uh, Jet 1632 Plus and it's got the variable speed with about an 80 grit uh, sandpaper in there now. I did make a mobile base so they can roll around so if I need to clean or whatnot. Uh, right where this used to be was the uh, routing table, a router and I moved that over so that it's on a lower stand and a table open for me to you know, have plans or whatever I'm working on there. I moved the bandsaw over and that's kind of this side of the room. Now on the other side what I've done is I've given myself more floor space. I'm utilizing underneath my stairwell using up as you can see really no floor space and I moved my scroll saw over to underneath there and with some lighting and a fan it works pretty good I can pull it out if I've got a larger larger project I'm working on and of course the the Delta surface planer is running its duct work up the other thing with the collection system is is that I was able to finally get some dust collection on the table saw which I'm going to tell you as a godsend I'm not worrying about all of that dust collecting and buckets underneath now right here as I mentioned is where the dust collector is. It used to be the drill press so what I did is I moved my drill press to over here. Now the drill press is actually underneath the stairwell about halfway so it's taking up less floor space than it used to. Plus I have my belt and disc sander here right next to the to the jet mini lathe. Uh, so it actually has given me actually more floor space than I had before with two new tools which is kind of interesting. Now I do uh, I do have the oscillating spindle sander kind of t put down below but I can actually roll that out because I did make a mobile base for that as well and I can utilize that on the shelf that's behind there. But other than that the other thing that I did was in order to work on more dust collection is I went ahead and created a uh, like a little cabinet of sorts to keep the dust down from the new miter saw that I got. Uh, any kind of way of restraining it I do have it connected to a bag which is going to be connected to a some type of shop back, but at least until then I've created this basic little holder container of sorts so that uh, it'll keep the dust at bay. But not too many changes, just look at the old uh, CNC machine that I haven't used it a bit. Got to get a new computer for that actually. And uh, that's about it. That's the main changes that I've made. The layout's a lot different, but it actually gives me a little bit more floor space and tools that I'll truly use. So thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me while I 
take you on a quick shop tour with the new tools. I think it's going to be a nice layout and it's going to work well for me. I'm looking forward to being creative and start making some stuff so I can produce some cool more videos for everybody to follow. And again, this is Krista Metric from TDW Woodworks. You have yourself a great day and I'll see you on the flip side. New shop for me! Yes!